Welcome back again and today we are going to discuss compounds. A compound is a word that combines two or more different words to make one word. Often, the meaning of the compound cannot be discovered by knowing the meaning of the different words that form it. Compounds may be written either as one word or as separate words. Bodyguard and floppy disk are two examples of compounds. Examples, if you take the following sentences. I love her. She loves him. He loves somebody else. You just can't win. These are simple sentences that can be compounded together to read. I love her, but she loves him and yet, he loves somebody else. You just can't win. We used commas and conjunctions to combine these sentences. A compound word is two or more words linked together to produce a word with a new meaning. Two or more words linked together to produce a word with a new meaning. A compound sentence has two or more main clauses linked by coordinating conjunctions, such as and, but. In grammar, a conjunction is a part of speech that connects words, phrases, or clauses that are called the conjuncts of the conjunctions. That definition may overlap with that of other parts of speech, and so what constitutes a, a conjunction must be defined for each language. English has seven coordinating conjunctions, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, which you can remember using the mnemonic fanboys. For indicates causation, we left a day early, for the weather was not as clement as we had anticipated. For also indicates causation, we left a day early, for the weather was not as clement as we had anticipated. And juxtaposes two or more items without specifying a relationship between them, neorealism, neoclassical realism, and realist constructivism, Mearsheimer subscribes to one approach, and Waltz argues for another. Nor supplements a previously stated negation, neither fish nor fowl, the results did not confirm the hypothesis, nor did they suggest any particular alternative explanation. But signals a contradiction, caveat, or other tension, this off-sighted but inaccurate account, there was no precedent for such an approach, but the team forged ahead. Or indicates alternatives, give me liberty or give me death. Yet, like, but, means, nevertheless, or, in spite of, something, there was no precedent for such an approach, yet the team forged ahead. So, like, for, indicates reasoning or causation, while, for, indicates the cause, so, introduces the effect, the weather was not as clement as we had anticipated, so we left a day early. Compounding. When we use compounding, we link together two or more bases to create a new word. Normally, the first item identifies a key feature of the second word. For example, the two bases back and ache can combine to form the compound noun backache, and the two bases post and card combine to form the compound noun postcard. Bird plus house equals birdhouse. Mouse plus pad equals mouse pad. If you lived in the United States in the early 1970s you may remember the children's educational show The Electric Company. They had a compounding segment where one person would say one part of a word, sometimes affixes, sometimes suffixes and others just compound words, and another person would say the other part. They were teaching compounding. By adding two nouns together we can create words. Birdhouse, computer virus, housework, etc. Most of the time this can be a noun plus noun situation, other times it can be verb plus ing plus noun such as walking stick or recording device. Or it can be a verb plus or plus noun such as in the item CD player. An abbreviation involves shortening a word. We do this in three main ways, clipping, acronyms, and blends. Examples would be. Clipping is a word formed by dropping one or more syllables from a longer word or phrase with no change in meaning, as deli from delicatessen or flu from influenza. An acronym is a stand-in for a string of words, usually an organization name slogan, or something else equally wordy. Unlike abbreviations, they aren't shorter spellings of words, they're made up of the word's initials. Examples would be BOGO, buy one, get one, free. SCUBA, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. In linguistics, a blend, sometimes called blend word, lexical blend, portmanteau, or portmanteau word, is a word formed from parts of two or more other words. At least one of these parts is not a morph, the realization of a morpheme, but instead a mere splinter, 
a fragment that is normally meaningless. In other words, a word blend is formed by combining two separate words with different meanings to form a new one. Examples would be docudrama where the root words are documentary and drama, electrocute which comes from the two words electricity and execute. We use back formation when we remove part of a word, usually something which we think is a suffix or occasionally a prefix. We do this commonly when we form verbs from nouns. Take the word edit, edit comes from the word editor, which is formed by removing the suffix or. The meaning changes from one who edits to to edit. Some nouns consist of more than one word. These are compound nouns. Compound nouns can be formed in different ways. The most common way is to put two nouns together, noun plus noun. Other common types are adjective plus noun and verb plus noun. It defines a compound noun as a noun, an adjective or a verb made of two or more words or parts of words, written as one or more words, or joined by a hyphen. Travel agent, dark-haired and bathroom are all compound nouns. Compound verbs, or helping verbs, are two words which combine to make one meaning. The first word is usually a noun, an adjective or a preposition, and the second word is a verb. The words are sometimes written as one word and sometimes joined by hyphens. A good learner's dictionary will tell you how the compound is normally written. Compound verbs come in several types. Serial verbs. Prepositional verbs. Phrasal verbs. Auxiliaries verbs. Compound single word verbs. The following compound verb examples demonstrate the differences between each type. Serial verbs. The most basic type of compound verb is two or more verbs sharing a single subject in a sentence. This is also referred to as a serial verb, because the verbs appear in a series, or list. Darla ran and looked out the window. Josue washed and dried his hands. Serial verbs are joined by a conjunction which sets them apart from the other four types of compound verbs, which use more than one word to form a single verb. Prepositional verbs. Prepositions are positional words. Prepositional verbs are verbs that have a preposition attached. The addition of the preposition often alters the meaning of the verb. Some prepositional verbs are Took off, Jenna took off her coat. Wait for, don't wait for me. Listen to, the kids listen to that podcast every Tuesday. Prepositional verbs are always followed by an object, but the object cannot be placed between the verb and preposition, i.e., it would be incorrect to separate listen from to and say, the kids listen that podcast to. Phrasal verbs are verbs connected to a preposition or adverb. A phrasal verb is often idiomatic, which means the combination of the two words takes on a new meaning. Some phrasal verbs are to ask around. Definition, to ask many people the same question. To call back. Definition, to return a phone call. To come across. Auxiliary verbs, also called helping verbs, are used along with a main verb to express tense, mood, or voice. For example, in the statement, it is raining, is functions as an auxiliary verb indicating that the action of the main verb, raining, is ongoing. Auxiliary verbs are used in various verb tenses, including the continuous tense, example I am talking, the perfect tense, example you have run, and the future tense, example they will dance. Examples, auxiliary verbs in a sentence Alice has been working here for a month. Compound single word verbs, just as compound nouns combine two words to create a new noun, such as bedroom or motorcycle. Compound verbs combine multiple words to create a new one, such as proofread or overstay. Sometimes, these compound verbs contain a hyphen, as in time travel or waterproof. Lastly, there are four main kinds of word formation, prefixes, suffixes, conversion and compounds. Prefixes We add prefixes before the base or stem of a word. The most common prefixes are a dash, B dash, da dash, dis dash, x dash, in dash, mis dash, non dash, over dash, pre dash, re dash, uni, and with dash. These prefixes appear most often in academic vocabulary. 
An example would be anti, which means against added to the word freeze we get antifreeze. A liquid we use to stop water from freezing. Suffixes. We add suffixes after the base or stem of a word. The main purpose of a suffix is to show what class of word it is, e.g. noun or adjective. What are the four most common verb suffixes? Suffixes forming verbs. Meaning, eight. To bring about a state, n. To become, ife. To make something, to become, se. To do something, to become. Conversion. Conversion involves the change of a word from one word class to another. For example, the verbs to email and to microwave are formed from the nouns email and microwave. We also use conversion when we change a proper noun into a common noun. Has anybody seen my Dickens? Copy of a book by Dickens. Finally in review of compounding, when we use compounding, we link together two or more bases to create a new word. Normally, the first item identifies a key feature of the second word. For example, the two bases back and ache can combine to form the compound noun backache, and the two bases post and card combine to form the compound noun postcard. Compounds are found in all word classes. The most common types of compounds are Nouns, car park, rock band. Adjectives, heartbreaking, sugar-free, airsick. Verbs, oven bake, babysit, chain smoke and Adverbs, good-naturedly, nevertheless. It is sometimes difficult to know where to put hyphens in words that are compound addition. It is also difficult to know whether to separate words, e.g. post box, or to join the words, e.g. post box. As with many affixes there is no rule. In such cases, it is best to utilize a dictionary. Well that is all the time we have for today. I hope to see you next time.